starting our Universal Studios adventure here in City Walk. Look at this, Cinnabon is walled up. It could be a giant roller coaster or it could be renovation. Or they could be getting rid of Cinnabon, which would be kind of sad faces. I do enjoy Cinnabon, but I understand that they want to switch things up here. But look at this, Production Central is now featuring classic Universal monsters. Yes, the monsters and Halloween live on every single day. We've got to keep it going. Classic Universal monsters are always amazing and I'm glad they have a little store for them right now. Ooh, wow, look at this. They even decked out the floor. Everything looks absolutely stunning in here. It's like our own little version of a more elaborate uh, tribute store in Orlando. But you know what, I'll take it. I will take our little version. And they have a bunch of cool merchandise. Now some of these things we've seen before, like I've seen this shirt, I've seen that over in Orlando. And I've uh, seen this as well. I've actually talked about this a few times on the channel, how it's one of my favorite button up shirts and I gotta buy it one of these days. I'm glad they put little details here and there too, the, the brickwork and they have all this going on over here too. I love it. You know, I hope they keep this up all the way up until Halloween Horror Nights and they could obviously switch it out and add some more, you know, Halloween stuff in here for the season but for right now to showcase classic universal monsters i mean heck yeah michael and i really like the store but our only wish is that it was bigger i wish it was bigger yeah and honestly i would kind of add more merch more merch my, yeah my head is always in um horror nights mode same so <laughs> i would have even if it's the same scent who cares I oh the candle i would have put a different sticker on it um i would have brought the scents back yeah maybe even made a new one that would have been my good. Mind always in Horror Nights mode, so I would have done candles and a um, bunch of stuff. Yeah, literally just slapped on a different name, theme to monsters, and called it today. Yeah, Universal missed an opportunity to put some candles in there. That's what I really like about uh, a lot of the shops out in Orlando, and I think we're getting more candles over here too in Hollywood. But they have a bunch of candles over there. Yeah, uh, I and I love, love that. Candles. Yeah, I yeah. love the candles. Aside so. from pins, the candles are probably a new favorite thing to buy now. Yep, absolutely. Right, King Kong? Don't you agree? Yeah, he's shaking his head yes, and he's also greeting us. He's like, hey, how's it going? And before we continue, welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan, and today, yeah, we're cruising around Universal Studios Hollywood, checking up on the Fast and the Furious roller coaster and a few other things. So how about you and I dive right in? And look at this upon entry. We're arriving a little bit later on in the afternoon at 1.20, almost 1.30. But look, there's not too many people up here. This is gonna be a great day. Officially made it in the park. Let's check the damage. We have 20 minutes for Forbidden Journey, not bad. No wait for Studio Tour and pets, okay. Jurassic World only a five minute, that's a walk-on. Fly to the Hippogriff a walk-on, heck yeah. I feel like the longest wait is uh, Mario Kart, so there you go. Jurassic World is tied. Yeah, it's a walk-on. Yeah, this is a walk-on. This is a really good day to be in the park. Ooh, look at this over here at the plaza. It's reopened, but it's closed today for a special event. You can see that they're setting up for that. And across the way over here, I wonder if they're working on this year's Halloween Horror Nights Haunted House, because for the past couple of years, there's been a haunted house in this location. Michael, do you think they're working on a Halloween Horror Nights Haunted House in there I right now? So, yeah. I think they are too. I mean, I feel like it's just such an easy spot to put one. And because we've seen it a couple of years in a row, yeah, I mean, it just makes sense. So I'm wondering what the theme is gonna be in here if they do have a haunted house. I'm hoping it's an original IP. That would be great over in this corner because they have they usually do the original IP over at uh, Mel's Diner. So maybe another original right here would be awesome. Either way, I'm ready for some more Halloween Horror Nights and it's only February. Ooh, we got some springtime flowers going on. Making my way towards the lookout to check up on Fast and the Furious. But in the meantime, here's your latest look right here on French Street of all the refurbs going on with the VIP uh, area. Every time I walk to this lookout area, it just cracks me up how massive this crane is. I mean, it really is huge and look at that we got some action happening on the site today which is fantastic to see nothing has gone vertical just yet in this area but we know for a fact that they have been putting rebar into the side of the hill here off in the distance michael had a great eye soundstage 18 they got some filming going on in there they have the uh, red light flashing that means they are actively filming in that area the so one cool thing about our park is it actually is a working movie studio they film a lot of movies and television here and on your visit, that's why I always encourage people to ride the studio tour because you just never know what you're gonna see, especially during the week. Monday through Thursday is your best bet on seeing some sort of production. The weekends, it doesn't really happen much unless they have a deadline to meet and they have to get some filming done, uh, like pick up shots and all that kind of stuff. But Monday through Thursday is your best bet to see uh, you know, maybe a celebrity sighting or a lot of filming going on in the back lot. But going back to the Fast and the Furious roller coaster, it's funny to see this section right here. They're almost like leveling it out. And over the past few months, the hill has been transformed, I feel like a million times. Because you think they're done, you know, 
you know, shaping it, but then they start something new and they shape it a little bit differently. And it is really fun to watch. Again, if you're here at the park, take 10 minutes out of your day to appreciate what, you know, what is going on over here and the scale, because the, it, this is really massive. It's a lot bigger than what it looks like on video. Off in the distance here, you can see that they have taken down a couple more trees. And this is where I'm believing the coaster is going to make its turnaround. It'll go out this way. It'll probably make its way back and up towards the uh, upper deck here. But yeah, at least they are working in this corner. So it is nice to see some progress over there. For a while, it was kind of sitting stagnant, but looks like they're uh, back at it. And remember in the last video, there was like that massive trench that went down here. Well, the, as you can see, that's all been filled up. Here's your latest look at the top deck where we're thinking the station and the maintenance bay and all that kind of fun stuff is going to be including the queue space. A lot of work continues to happen up here. This is the bulk of the project. At least the last couple months, a lot of the work has been happening up here. And I can't wait for Universal to release some official concept art of what this area is supposed to look like upon completion. Because I'm assuming there's gonna be some theming here. It's gonna look uh, maybe similar to what we see in Orlando as far as their queue out there mixed with some new stuff. And then I'm very curious to see how much theming goes over here where the main layout is gonna be placed. I wouldn't assume there's gonna be that much theming just because you're gonna be racing by at high speeds. So, I mean, really, you're not gonna have too much time to look at too much theming. But because the attraction has a lot of sound walls and all that kind of sound dampening, they might theme that stuff up to make it look a little bit more nice than just a plain concrete wall. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. But as of right now, this is what it's looking like this week. Let's continue our journey around the park. And a little bit later on in the video, we'll get a view from that vantage point over there. Making our way into the wizarding world. I think we're gonna take advantage of some of the short wait times and hit up Flight of the Hippogriff and maybe Forbidden Journey. And before we hit up the rides, they are still working on the stage over here. And across the way, the rumored lockers are moving along pretty nicely, which I can't wait for those to open. It's gonna free up a lot of space inside the castle. I right, just got off Hippo and that was fun. It, you know, it's worth it when it's a walk on. When yeah, other than that. <laughs> it's 40 yeah. minutes. No, I'm not gonna wait 40 minutes. Yeah. yeah, for a short ride experience. But what Michael was noticing, yeah, we were the trees. The queue line, I, cause again, I haven't been on this ride in a long time. So yeah. it's so lush in the queue line now. Like everything's yeah. pretty much grown. Yeah, everything's grown in. Like when the land yeah. first opened up, you could see everything. And yeah. now, slowly but surely, as the years go by, everything's kind of being hidden by all the all the greenery, which is cool. That's nice. Yeah. And another really cool thing about riding hippos, we got a nice view inside the project outside of Forbidden Journey here. And they're yeah moving really quickly on this. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is done a little bit sooner than we think. All right, just got off the studio tour and. The really big thing to talk about on the studio tour is all the work going on for the 60th anniversary. Our tram uh, tour guide was saying that they are doing a lot of extensive work in the War of the Worlds area, and we could physically see it. They've torn down a lot of the houses. Looks like they might be doing something uh, with, that, with those spaces. And they're also working on the back end of the War of the Worlds set. And even in the front where the old Whoville sets used to be, they're working in that area as well. Looks like they've repaved the street. They're working here the front and the Bates Motel. So really exciting stuff for the 60th anniversary. Another thing I've noticed, right before you go into Nope, they've added a new pathway with some uh, railing on the sign for, uh, you know, handicap accessibility. So I'm wondering if uh, there's more to the story than meets the eye here, which is really exciting. 60th anniversary for the studio tour is coming up this spring and they have yet to announce any specifics on what they're gonna be doing for the studio tour, but it's looking like it's gonna be a lot more grand than we, uh, when, than we think, which is really cool. And then I got a couple shots of the Fast and the Furious project from the escalator vantage point. And besides what I've already mentioned on the lookout, there's really nothing else to talk about. It's just kind of the same story from this vantage point. With that said though, there are a lot of crews on site and they are working very hard on this very complicated roller coaster project. Making our way back to the park exit. That was a quick little universal video, covered all the basics, pretty much all the uh, happenings going on today. And our last ride of the day, the escalator, right back to the parking structure. Short, sweet, and to the point. Over the next few weeks, probably the next month or so, the uh, Universal videos will be a little bit shorter on some occasions like today, just because, yeah, I mean, when we talk about this particular subject and we cover everything that there needs to be covered, then there's no more to talk about. So uh, I don't mind doing the short and sweet videos sometimes too. And then there's other times where I like doing a longer uh, vlog video, it's like 20 or 30 minutes. For sure, longer vlogs will be there when they start going vertical with the main part of the coaster layout. So when we start seeing the support structure and the track go in, then the videos are gonna be really long just because there's gonna be a lot to talk about because I can really go crazy with the roller coaster stuff. So it's gonna be really exciting once that stage of the project uh, you know, becomes a thing. And that's gonna be really fun to watch because I think that 
the whole track section is going to go up really, really fast. I think once uh, the coaster manufacturer comes in with Universal and they have the pieces on site, it's gonna go up quick. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos from Universal Studios Hollywood or some of your other favorite theme parks because I travel all over and go to a bunch of them, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't wanna miss out on. Be sure to check out my Instagram account by following the link down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.